AI agents are changing the way we build apps. Instead of writing every line of code by hand, I can buddy up with an AI agent. The Flutter team knows how important it is that your framework is built for the future of app development. And they've been hard at work making sure that Flutter works great with AI coding agents. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use a particular agent that you might have heard of called Gemini CLI to build multi-platform apps with Flutter. We built Flutter as a truly multi-platform framework so that developers can build for Android, iOS, the web, and desktop using the same code base. Flutter is open source and works great with all of your developer tools like VS Code or Android Studio. Now, we want to make sure that you can build great Flutter apps with any AI agent that you might be using. The developer experience is a core component of what makes Flutter great. And now it's getting even better with AI agents. One of these AI agents is Gemini CLI, which provides access to Gemini in your terminal. It takes your prompt and applies chain of thought reasoning to perform tasks like fixing bugs and adding new features. It can also use tools like the Dart and Flutter MCP server to add more to its context, which help it perform tasks more accurately. So in this video, we'll show you how Flutter and Gemini CLI work together to help you build multi-platform apps and share some tips and tricks along the way. So today we're going to look at how you can build a robust multi-platform app collaboratively with an AI agent. Seeing is believing. So let's dive into how to prompt Gemini to write Flutter code. First, let's get started by setting up our environment. We're going to install the Flutter SDK first. Since we're building for iOS and Android, I'm also going to install Xcode and Android Studio. For the full installation guide, go to docs.flutter.dev slash get started. Next, I'm going to install Gemini CLI using NPM. Then I can choose to log in with my Google account or get a Gemini API key from AI Studio or Vertex AI. I'm going to use an API key from AI Studio, so I'm going to set a bash variable called Gemini API key. Then I can install the Flutter extension for Gemini CLI by running this command. To start Gemini CLI, you can use the Gemini command line tool. You should see a Gemini CLI logo like this. When you run Gemini CLI, you get a text box to enter your prompts and commands. I can type a prompt directly or type slash to see the available commands. You can type docs to open up the API docs in your browser. Here, you can find a full list of commands, keyboard shortcuts, and anything else you might want to know about Gemini CLI. I'm going to type slash extensions list to see that I've got the Flutter extension installed. The Flutter extension provides tools via the Dart and Flutter MCP server, rules for following Dart and Flutter best practices, and commands for spec-driven app development. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol, which is an open protocol for connecting AI apps like Gemini CLI to external tools. There's a lot of great tools available, which let Gemini CLI check Dart code for errors connect to a running app to trigger a hot reload, and more. And because it's an open protocol, you can use these tools with other AI agents, not just Gemini CLI. The full list of MCP server commands and their descriptions can be shown by typing slash MCP desk. Gemini will automatically decide to use these tools based on the task it's trying to accomplish. But you can also ask Gemini to run any of these tools by prompting it. If I need to run a shell command directly, I can enable shell mode by typing an exclamation mark followed by the shell command. Our AI rules for Dart and Flutter are automatically included when you install the extension. So I can type slash memory show to print out these rules and add my own using Gemini.md. These AI rules are also available for use with other AI tools, not just Gemini CLI. You can go to the Flutter doc site to download them for yourself. If I want to add my own rules, I can quickly create a Gemini.md file for my project by typing slash init. Finally, our custom commands slash create app, slash modify, and slash commit make it easy to author a specification for your app and make a plan to implement it using a checklist and validate that the app is working before committing it to source control. So with that in mind, let's get started building our Flutter app. If you're following along, now is the time to think about what your app will do. Feel free to pause the video. I can wait. Ready? 
I've always wanted to create an app that takes my training goals and creates a training plan for me. So that's what I'm going to build. In an empty directory, we're going to execute the slash create app command, followed by a high level description of our app. This will create a new Flutter project and initialize a Git repository. And before it writes any code, the extension provides a specification of our app for me to review and asks questions to clarify what you want to build. So I can edit this file myself or ask Gemini to make changes. By default, Gemini asks me before it runs shell commands or edits code. But if I want Gemini to automatically accept edits to the code, I can press Shift Tab to enable the auto accepting edits feature and the chat box will change to a yellow color. And if you're feeling lucky, you can also enable or disable YOLO mode by pressing Control Y. This will auto accept edits and run shell commands without asking you, so be careful with this one. I'm going to look at my design.md file in my editor and prompt Gemini with the changes that I want to make. Now that we've reviewed the design doc, let's ask Gemini to move on to the next step. The next step before we write code is to generate an implementation plan. This is written to a file called implementation.md. So if something doesn't look right, I can edit these files myself or just ask Gemini to correct them for me. Now that our design doc and implementation plan is ready, we can start building the app. I don't need to type a command to start building. I can just tell Gemini that the implementation plan looks good to me and it will start following that. The agent is like a pair programmer. So if I want to do some of the tasks myself, I can mark those as completed and it will skip those steps. When it's done with the first phase, Gemini can choose to launch the app for me using the MCP server. Now that phase one is completed, let's let Gemini implement the rest of the phases in our plan. By building the app in phases, it creates checkpoints where we can validate the code. To make sure everything is working, the Flutter extensions planning template ensures that the app passes a set of checks, like running Dart fix, checking for errors, and running tests. And check this out. The app is already running on our iOS device because Gemini automatically used the launch app tool. Now let's see it running on Android with the same code. Not bad, right? You can see that Gemini CLI with the Flutter extension helped me get the first version of my app running in record time. Now let's see what it's like to iterate and add new features. I'm going to use another AI tool from Google called Stitch to create some of the design mockups of what I want the app to look like. Then I can feed the HTML output and screenshots into Gemini CLI by saving the files into my project and referencing them using the at symbol, followed by the file name. Gemini updates the Dart source code based on the images using its multimodal features. And when it's done, the extension knows to hot reload the app. Nice. Finally, I'm going to run the slash commit command to run all the checks and commit the changes to Git. Now let's connect Gemini CLI to VS Code and Flutter DevTools. I'm going to open up my project and run the app using VS Code. Then I can open the command runner and type copy DTD URI. Then I can paste that into Gemini CLI with a short prompt. You should see the connect Dart tooling daemon MCP tool running. Now I can use the tools in the Dart and Flutter MCP server in both VS Code and Gemini CLI. So let's select a widget using the DevTools widget selector and ask Gemini to make a change to it. Or maybe I want to install a package from Pub, Dart's package manager, but we don't quite know which one to install. The Pub Dev search tool will search pub.dev for relevant packages, and then Gemini will install it using the Pub tool. This is why AI agents are so helpful. You don't need to keep all of these tools in your head. You can enter a prompt using natural language, and Gemini will find the right tool to use. We hope this video gave you some ideas on what's possible with AI agents, MCP servers, and Flutter. We saw how to bring lots of great tools together to build an app using Flutter. We started with Gemini CLI, which provides access to Gemini models, chain of thought reasoning, and commands for interacting with the agent. Then we dug into the Flutter extension, which provides the Dart and Flutter MCP server, rules for building great apps, and commands for spec-driven development. We also saw how to connect our Flutter app to Gemini CLI and VS Code. This makes Flutter features like Hot Reload available to our AI agent and our IDE. To learn more about using AI to build Flutter apps, head over to docs.flutter.dev and make sure to check out the Create with AI page. 
Thanks for watching.